Corded phasing safety, real quick. Uh, when you're using your corded tools, regardless of manufacturer, tr always treat the cord, right? Always treat the cord is connected to the tool. And then we have a secondary probe here going to our ground or another phase right here, right? This is part of the tool. So you're 36 inches back that you need to train your folks to keep from the meter head. You need to train also to stay 36 inches back from the cord. You see how that is? Case in point, I get a call several years ago from a place in Texas. No names because it's, it's a place nearby. And what happened was they were using that tool and they had an arc flash. And the guy called me up, the, the tool guys purchasing and the, the work methods, they called me up and they say, hey man, your tools, we don't trust them no more. I was like, what do you mean? What happened? He told me what happened and I said, send me a picture. And what happened was in the picture, the, the lineman made contact with a hot, a hot phase up in the sky and what there was a hot bus right next, I mean, right next to the meter head. And they had an arc flash, right? Flash over. And so here you got a meter, you got the meter touching that hot phase. Here you have resistors, that's good. But that hot phase that was here, that's full potential. That's bad. Going to ground. Sure enough, boom. They had an explosion, the, that full potential just raced down that cord, couldn't even watch it race down that cord, it was so quick. Hit that secondary probe, blew up there, and the cord was all in little pieces, just instant. They dropped everything, went running, screaming. They did. The linemen were there, and they told me the story. Thank goodness they were both, there was two of them, both able to tell me the story. What if... When they were doing that job, they were not training their linemen to be 36 inches away from the cord. What if that cord was next to the thigh? What if the cord was by his ankle? He would either lose both legs, one leg, or be dead. And maybe both of them. You see how this works? Stay away from your cords. I don't care if it's our tool or anybody's. Don't get close to your cord.